Let's jump over to our man, Teddy Kegstat. Every Wednesday, folks, at 40 past the hour, we talk to Teddy. You can reach Teddy every trading day at forex-trading-unlock.com. Teddy Kegstat, you almost ready for some turkey Thanksgiving, man? Sam, I, I'm down in Arkansas visiting my mom, so I just moved her into a new place yesterday, and uh, they have to replace a brand-new dishwasher this morning, so I'm doing this in, uh, from the deck. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Well, I'm glad you joined us because uh, it's a short and trading week. We're closed Friday, half day in the markets. Um, but, man, let's kick it off with crude, Teddy. Uh, you're probably uh, sticking to your guns with the action we got Absolutely. yesterday, but we got we to gotta talk about it in terms of, you know, the – the reserve is released and, and it had been mm -hmm. speculated for some time and, and people had said that's not, you know, it's a small plug and a big problem. Uh, sure. But pretty interesting action that you get the three to almost four dollar rally yesterday. We're sitting at 78 bucks and change in crude. Right. Uh, what, what do you see in that market right now, man? Keep on rallying, baby. Keep on rallying. You know, right. I just left Chicago a few days ago and the gas prices were just under four dollars a gallon. Ironically, I'm here in Arkansas and it's almost a dollar less. It's kind of weird. So um, that's crazy when you think about the pricey difference between just 750 miles in the United States. So, um, but the taxes are higher in Illinois, so that's probably the reason. Uh, so, but yeah, I'm still very bullish on oil. I can't see it even remotely dropping. You got to think about how much fuel we're wasting every day because you got all these diesel trucks sitting idle waiting for them to get their containers emptied and trucks loaded, you know? So sure. that's one big problem, you know, as far as, uh, I mean, the oil trade's got a lot of issues. I'm still bullish. I'm looking at $100. Uh, I, like I said a couple weeks ago, right now this is a consolidation. Um, it's hard for anyone to even say that this is going to turn around and go south and be a bearish market and uh, be better for us right now. I just don't see it. There's no reason to even remotely look at oil as being bearish whatsoever. I mean, I think yesterday was the exclamation point, man. If, if, if you know, mm -hmm. how can you be a bear when you get that type of news? And uh, it was expected, so I get that type of mm -hmm. deal, but but quite a three to four dollar pop, man. Just like nothing, right? Back to almost eighty bucks. Uh, right. And I love I love the Chicago Blackhawks, man. You're working it. You're in uh, you're in Arkansas. <laughs> it's really extra. So just like the trading floor, my friend. It's Jeans Day. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Thanksgiving out with the family. It's perfect. Uh, yeah. Okay, so so forex, man, we got a lot going on in forex as well. We got the dollar to highs. Where do you want to kick off uh, on the forex market? It's it's a layup fundamental rally in the U.S. dollar right now. I mean, since Sunday night, the bond, the thirty-year bond is down over three basis points in two and a half days. Right there, if you can't know that the dollar is going to get a, a rise on that one, well, you're in the wrong business, you know. So, and the bonds are like half of the eight, ten ticks lower today already this morning. Yeah, so there's their best the support. You know, the uh, the British pound is falling like a rock. The euro is tanking, you know, yeah. and the Australian dollar. I mean, now that we're seeing that these detaining uh, COVID facilities or concentration camps, whatever you want to call them, they do exist and they're sending people there. Uh, Australian dollar is, gonna, is just a rock falling into the sea. It's going to keep on tanking now. There's, there's no reason for that market to lift at all. You know, so I think that you're yeah. going to see – Remember we were talking about, you know, the, the, the yen getting up to 116 where we broke out. We were last week we were talking, we were buffering under highs. We had a little correct little sell off. We're right there again. We're just under 116. I, I can see us hitting that by Friday, if not to even later today, you know. So um, and uh, 122, I think, is still a very valid target for the U.S. dollar yen over the next couple of weeks going into the end of the year. Yeah, you really can't deny that trend almost like you can't deny the trend in crude mm -hmm. going on man um, right quite the consolidation even around 110 from april to october mm -hmm. and the thing takes off almost to sure. 115 uh right yeah quite quite the move now for forex markets because mm -hmm. i'm not familiar how does i know think you know thanksgiving is a u.s holiday um right but does that affect things? I know U.S., you know, of course, they're a big player. Mm -hmm. But how does that affect the Forex market, something like our holiday? Closed tomorrow, and really a lot of people closed on Friday. We got a half day, but mm -hmm. we're, it's one of the only days we're actually closed um, when the market's open at TFNN. How does that sure. hit a Forex market? Well, you know, it does hit the Forex market because you got to remember that except for, you know, the stock market will, is shutting down early, you know, what have you, and it has the holiday hours in the United States. But you got to remember our bond market also has holiday hours. So that when the bond market has fewer hours, that starts to constrain the currency market because no matter what, our interest rates drive the biggest pricing value in the currency markets. So, I mean, obviously there's not going to be any Fed moves over Thanksgiving or anything like that, you know, sure. but the, the machines aren't shut off. 
but they're not running on full throttle, you know? So, and I always tell people holiday markets, stay away from them because one, they're very thin. I don't care if it was 40 years ago or four days ago, holiday markets are just a trap. Unless you're in a position and you're managing it, you should not be entering or even, you should be on vacation, take a holiday. It's why it's a holiday, you know? So um, you get a lot of erratic movements and that's something you may see um, because we have a lot of numbers that you were talking about earlier that are coming out today. Um, we could have the algo starting to spike around, uh, but my th- feeling right now is that the trend is so strong because the interest rates are tanking, the, the dollar is railing. That momentum, I think, going into the holiday is going to be exacerbated because of the drying up in, in liquidity. You know, you have guys like myself, after I get off with you, my positions are set. I'm not going to look at anything until I get home this weekend. You know, it's done. Yeah. You know, I mean, whatever happens, happens, you know, not that everyone's going to do that, but the majority, I would say, of the professionals in the industry will be. Now, Europe and Asia, are they going to do much? Probably not, unless we do have some big reaction. There's not a lot of news that would shake them up, you know, so I don't really think you're going to have that type of effect, you know. Um, but Monday, I would think that we're going to have a scrambling market, you know. So um, I liked your little little piece about Jamie Dimon's comment. You know, I'm, <laughs> I first personally don't like the guy. Um, I like the joke. Uh, <laughs> and it's I think just, that more people should do it and stand up to China. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, for the amount of money that those companies have just to, to mm-hmm. make that decision with everything going on. I mean, it seems like over and over that story, man, no matter how big you are over in China, whether you're Jack Ma or whether you're that mm-hmm. poor tennis star recently that came out and accused right. the vice premier. Um, right. It's scary stuff when people can just sure. disappear from public, you know, the moment right. they say anything about leaders over there. So sure. it's, uh, you know, at All some the more point money to speak out while you can. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, and the end. Shows- and the NBA players, and listen, over here, I think it gets overdone, the, the beef they get about everything going on. Um, mm-hmm. But I think they should catch beef for, for the way that they don't care about anything going on in China. And it's all about cash for the NBA. And it, it spans everything. Um, they just come to mind, you know, how anyway. Uh, mm-hmm. Money's only worth so much, man, in China over there. It's bad news. I don't, I don't you know, you go over to China, you behave, everybody, because everybody's watching <laughs> you over in China. Seriously, right? Uh, right. So, we, you know, for, for all the... Forex markets moving, Teddy. We got about a minute left. Um, sure. What's the one you're looking at the most with maybe the most conviction? Because there's been some big moves, and I think you're, mm-hmm. the trend is, you know, right what you're talking about. What's the mm-hmm. one that you have the most conviction on as we as we look at those markets? Uh, your your favorite currency and one of mine, the U.S. dollar yen. I am a raging bull. I think that with all conviction that this thing is not going to stop. Uh, 116. We're, we're, I've been calling this one for a month, saying that by sure. Thanksgiving around this time, and we are yeah. right here. We're we're half a dollar cool. away, you know. So, um, and uh, not to toot my own horn. <laughs> no, it's but, uh, it's yeah. big time, man. You have with so, that in oil. It's been yeah. listen. I appreciate these conversations. I know the listeners do too, man. Well, well Teddy, enjoy think, Thanksgiving, uh, man. Yeah. yeah. 122. We'll be talking to you next Wednesday, man. All Enjoy right. that beautiful foliage out there, man. I love those I leaves will. out there. Have, have a great Thanksgiving. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, guys. You do too. All right. Take Thanks, care. Thanks, Teddy.